you know, if you have a pencil and paper, you may want to uh, write this down. But uh, one of the resources that we use to purchase stock photography and uh, stock graphics is called iStock.com. I S T O C K dot com. Let me just show you kind of what they have in there. This is a, I guess I've got to type it right. So it's always nice to be typing in front of a whole bunch of people. It's like somebody looking over your shoulder, that's when you make all the mistakes. I S T O C K dot com. Did I get it right that time? Okay. Maybe we can type better. Okay, here we are, I stock. Uh, if, you, if you look at some of their prices down here of, of pictures, you can buy graphics or, or photographs for your website. You can buy really small ones for a dollar, uh, small ones for three dollars, medium ones for six dollars, large ones for twelve, and mostly on the internet, you're going to be using uh, either the one dollar or the three dollar size. Uh, the, these other sizes up here would be more if you were printing brochures or you needed some really high resolution ones, but. Uh, the $3 ones are typically uh, the largest that you'd probably use on your website because most of the images, are, as I said, are going to be small. But you can do a search out here. They have thousands and thousands of sites on everything you could possibly imagine. So let's just type something in. Uh, how about dog food? We're building a, a website about dogs, and we need a picture of some dog food, okay? Uh, so now you should be seeing coming up on your screen uh, all the different stock images that they have for dog food. And you can see that uh, there's, a no, there's a lot of them out there. If you look at the, the top up here, you can see that they have 619 images of dog food. And uh, let me just make an enlarge one there for you a little bit. Uh, you can see they have all kinds of great dog food pictures, you know. So it, if you, you need a picture of something a little more normal than dog food, you probably are going to have thousands to choose from. And th their prices are really good, but the quality of their images is good. And uh, so this is a great resource for you to find images to put on your website. And so I just wanted to bring that up to you. Again, it's iStock or iStockphoto.com. Um, great resource for you. Okay, let me uh, move that window off the screen. And we'll go into actually editing an image. Now, <clears throat> when you edit an image or you're preparing images for your website, first of all, you have to get get the image um, or the or the graphic. And again, I gave you some resources to find that. Like I said, you may have pictures of your own, but once you've got the image, you need some kind of software on your computer to edit that image. And there are many, many different software packages that you can use. You can use Photoshop. Um, one that I use is called Photo Impact. Uh, and, and I like it because it's, it's fairly inexpensive. I think it's like $60, $70 program. It's incredibly powerful. But it's, if you just want to do the basic things, it's very, very easy to do that. So that's what I'm going to use today. So let me go ahead and uh, open up my photo impact here so I can show you how to use it here. So let me find it and get it over here for you. Still coming up. Okay. And we're coming up. OK. And I've got it over here for you to see. And I think it actually comes with some stock photos as well. So you can see on I've got on your screen here Photo Impact. Let me make it big so it fills the full screen. OK, now I'm, gonna, I'm going to first just open up an image that we can edit on here. And I'm going to go in and see if I can find one here for us to look at. And what this is, OK, this is a raw picture, uh, meaning that I have not edited it before. Um, actually, uh, about five years ago, we adopted two little boys from Moscow, Russia. And uh, so this is actually a picture of Christopher, my little boy, that we adopted from Moscow. And while we were there visiting the boys in the orphanage, they allowed us to take them out. and so. 
This is a, a park in downtown Moscow, Russia. And it, there are some things about this that would make it not really be ready for the internet. First of all, it's a very, very large file. It's, and, and so the download time would be incredibly bad. Uh, there are also some things that we can do, just basic things, to improve the quality of this picture and, and make it better for the web. And so I want to talk to you this is just about some simple things. Uh, my guys call this CREO, C-R-E-O. There's, yeah, okay, C-R-O. Anyway, let me, uh, let me just kind of go through those, okay? The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to crop the picture. And that means that we're going to eliminate some of the things that aren't important. Normally, your pictures on a website are going to be fairly small. And so you want to make sure that you're really focusing on what you've, you've got in there. Let me just bring your attention to a few things here in the picture. Uh, I don't know how well you can see it on your screen, but in the park over here, I've got a guy taking his shirt off and a woman standing behind him, which really does not add anything to our picture at all. It's, it's really going to distract from the picture, pull people's attention away if they start start looking at that. I've got an area, I don't know if you can see that, right in here that is just nothing. It's of really no value at all. It's just it's just dead space.